HIV, AIDS and syphilis are both sexually transmitted diseases. HIV, AIDS is caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, and spread through contact with an infected person's blood during vaginal, anal, or oral sex, and through shared needles or syringes. While syphilis is caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum, and spread through direct contact with an infected sore or syphilis sore on a person's body during vaginal, anal or oral sex, and from cuts on the skin or mucous membrane. Both infection or disease can lead to the development of skin rashes when a person is exposed to the infection. In this video, we will be talking about five differences between HIV rash and syphilis rash, depending on the appearance, color and how one feels when exposed to either of the infection. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscription button and turn on the notification icon so that you will get notified whenever we post a new video like this. The first difference between HIV and syphilis rash is on the way they feel. HIV rash is often itchy or painful, while syphilis rash is never itchy, making it difficult to be noticed. The second is that HIV rash mostly appears in upper part of the body, such as the face and the chest region, while syphilis rash appears mostly on the palms of the hands or under the feet, and in moist and hidden part of the body, such as the groins and the armpit. The third is in their color. HIV rash appears as a red patch with tiny bumps in it, while syphilis rash appears as a darker reddish-brown spots that are sometimes too light to be seen. The fourth is on their duration. HIV rash lasts for a long time and usually does not disappear until treatment is given, while syphilis rash lasts for two to six weeks and disappear without treatment. The fifth is that, HIV rash usually appears a few days after exposure, and it is also the first sign that appears when a person is exposed to the infection. While syphilis rash appears in the second stage of the infection, and usually when a sore is healing or a few weeks after the sore has healed. The knowledge of other common signs and symptoms of HIV and syphilis infection, will greatly help you in differentiating between a HIV rash and a syphilis rash, and also between the rashes of other common skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, and hives.